Painting here today with LEGO City update number two in my brand new LEGO City. Today is May 1st, and here's the update. A lot of progress has been made this One of the biggest changes this month is that I actually got rid of one of my mock modular. Well, I didn't get rid of it so much as I moved it. We'll talk more about that in a minute, but first we're going to talk about the changes I made to these mods. Because the Booster Juice mock was a, and the Apple Store mock were two of the mocks that were in my big white building, I decided to move them to the Grand Emporium. So in, one of the changes I have done is I have made a new street sign. On the right left side here is like this Apple iPhone and on the right side is the Booster Juice. Stay tuned for a full mock tour video on that. Moving on to these next buildings, I added some new detail to the LEGO store mock. I added some yellow colors as well as I added some slopes here to the roof just so it didn't look so boxy. The top of the building remains the same except I have this LEGO flag coming out from the top. In case you haven't noticed, the, top, the black skyscraper mock actually got taller. The reason being is because I needed to make the Tim Hortons just a bit taller down in the basement because I redid it completely and had to get a bunch of new detail. The NCIS building is completely the same except I added some more flowers and I actually added some red detailing to the stairs here. Panning around to the Grand Emporium, nothing different happened there. It's wait until we get to the gas station where there's a change. I've temporarily added this construction site because I want to actually have a new road going out of the city that way. The remainder of the gas station stays the same and the only little difference to this area is this beauty clothing friend store that me and my sister built a couple years ago. I added that in there. Another new change to the city is my brand new hospital mock. It is finally complete. I got my order in for all the window pieces and the rest of the paneling pieces to finish this mock and I think it looks pretty cool in my city. The gas or the fire station remains the same. I just decluttered it a bit and don't have as many firefighters rolling around. The police station also pretty much remained the same, except I added this control tower to the top and decluttered it by taking away some unnecessary vehicles. Also down here I still have all the vehicles, you just can't see them so it's all, it's all good. I also have a garbage truck and a bank transfer truck going to pick some stuff at the police station up. In case you didn't notice throughout the whole police station, or the whole city, not police station, I have a bunch of nice vehicles just driving along the streets. I also have many pedestrians roaming around, like this mother and daughter, this lady on a Segway, a couple of people leaving the Lego store, we even have a bike. A big advantage of removing the modular building from where it was, the, like location, the old location, I managed to expand the park quite a bit. Included in the park expansion, I was able to make a little green area before the park, so the park didn't just start as the sidewalk for the Grand Emporium ended. In this little green area, I have included some a bike rack and a nice big tree. I also managed to add the city bank here, and I think it looks pretty cool just the way you can only see the glass. But oh no, there's a current crime in progress. One thing I was excited about is I got to add this really big Lego tree mock into the city. For a full tutorial on this mock, check out my video on how to make it in the cards. Next to the city bank, we have the Brick -a Hut Pizza Hut place. Along the edge of the park here, we just have some vendors, some kids playing, and some more. Another thing I did was I completely filled in the sidewalk, just because it looked better than leaving just a little grass area in the middle. I still have room for the fountain and Jeffrey the giraffe. Down here, I still have the bike shop and cafe mock with the little flower bed in the middle. Here, I added a large Lego gumball machine, as well as a large palm tree, because we are at the beach, you know. I have a mini garbage truck picking up garbage from places like the Dairy Queen and the City Museum. The beach has pretty much been kept the same, except I added this fencing along the rock area, just because I thought it looked really cool. I also changed the rock up here by adding a waterfall and another rock piece, and I think that looks really cool. Especially when you film the park at this angle and see the waterfall coming down. This log cabin remains the same, and so did- whoa, no it didn't. This log cabin's missing. So instead of having the Robert tide out in the log cabin there, I decided that it was time to put a real skyscraper. And this is my hotel mock. The hotel is called the Waterfront Suites and Spa, or the Waterfront Inn and Spa. Haven't really decided, so you let me know down in the comments below what you think it should be. There on the roof, you can see that I have a rooftop pool with some chairs sitting around, and a father watching his son swim. Through each floor, you can sort of see that each room is the same, 
and I one day hope to have some pictures up on the walls. Right now there's a total of five floors and then the main lobby. Here's what the main lobby currently looks like. If you want to see more of this video or this mock, please stay tuned for a video about it on my YouTube channel. And the house and the residence part of this city completely remain the same. The only thing I changed was I added a couple more vehicles in here. But other than that, it's identical. Thanks for watching my LEGO City update today, May 1st, 2015. Stay tuned for next month for my next LEGO City update. Let me know down in the comments below what you thought of the progress for the city update. I was pretty happy considering I had a lot of time to work on the city and I got quite a bit done changing things up and starting and finishing two mods. Thanks everybody for watching this video by me, BrickLover18. If you liked what you saw in this video and you want to see more LEGO related videos, please check out my YouTube channel where it is all LEGO all the time. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope you have a great day.